It takes concentration and a steady hand to safely ride this giant wooden scooter down a hill. It's called a chokudu and it's unique to the hilly areas around Goma in eastern Congo. Mutabazi or Gaston is carrying one of his friends, but mainly it's used for transporting goods for a fee. The chokudu has helped many people here. My father died when I was young, so we didn't have much money, but the chokudu has given me money. They're used to carry almost anything. This man's bringing timber from the hills into town. Here, a four-piece sofa set is being delivered. It's got several useful features. This bit of rubber at the front provides some suspension. These wooden boards are for wrapping rubber straps and ropes around. They're used to tie the cargo on the back. And on the back wheel here is a brake. This is operated with your foot. So this has uh, attracted some attention. I don't think it's normal for people to see a foreigner trying to do this. It's quite bumpy, but it's got tyres and suspension, so that takes out some of the bumps. Getting faster now, and I've found the brake. Yeah, let's bring it gently to a stop. Whoa, there we go. It's good, it's very simple, but it's very tough. And it needs to be. The Chakudus can carry more than half a tonne. Going uphill is hard work. Most people here can't afford motorbikes or cars, but many say if you own one of these, you'll always be able to make a living. Now Mbusa Sampson makes about eight chukudus every month. Finding a strong enough tree for the wood is crucial, and it takes years to learn how to make them well. I used to graze goats, but one day I saw a nice tree. I cut it and straightened it. The tree looked so good and I knew I could use it to make something nice. I brought it here and I gradually learned how to make chukudu. People here are fond of the chukudu. In the city centre there's a statue of one. It's become a symbol of innovation. Eastern Congo suffered numerous conflicts and many live in extreme poverty. But the chukudu is a local solution that overcomes some of the challenges. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Goma in the Democratic Republic of Congo.